OMG, what is that guy up to? Mrs. Myers said surprised to her stylist as she saw the young feminized man enter the salon. The stylist looked up to see what she was referring to as she repositioned Mrs. Myers' head for the next perm rod. Oh that's Sally, she said grinning, picking up another perm rod. Sally? That's a guy right? Oh yes. He's a guy all right. He's a regular of ours. He usually comes in for a shampoo and set two or three times a month. He likes to be called Sally, so we call him Sally. Oh my, look at the young man. Isn't he so precious, she said sarcastically looking at the jeweled flat thang sandals and bright red painted toenails. You ought to see him when he comes in wearing a dress and high heels. Though the weather was quite cool outside he was wearing a pair of white jean shorts and had he had long shaved legs. He wore a bright red long sleeve button-down blouse. He has got to be gay. What man would go around looking like that, she said watching him at the front desk checking the purse he was carrying for something, well you would think so wouldn't you by looking at him. I mean he would have a hard time getting a date with a girl dressed like that you would think, but I don't know for sure, just the rumors that he only comes in and has his hair done for date nights, the stylist said as they both laughed. A date with who, we do not know that. It looks like Sally is in for his appointment, the nail tech Doris said as she did the nails of a young high school girl. The girl turned and looked to see Sally now being escorted to the shampoo sinks. Oh wow. What are they going to do to him? The girl asked watching amazed at the feminized public spectacle she was seeing. I would imagine he is in for his periodic shampoo and set. No way she said still staring at him as he was seated and reclined into the shampoo bowl. She is going to put curlers in that guy's hair, she's still watching him. Oh yeah. That's the only way to do a shampoo and set. What does his hair normally look like when they are done? I mean it would have to look somewhat feminine wouldn't it she asked and then giggled at the thought. It all depends on Sally's mood. It's usually something retro 60s or early 70s and always very feminine. I've seen his hair in large beehives and teased up in bubble styles, flips, French twist, you name it. I've even seen him with a large bow in his hair. No way, she said smiling. I'm sure he will let them know how he wants his hair done today. The girl had a huge grin on her face. She watched him for a few moments more and turned to the tech. Have you ever done his nails? She looked at the tech. Oh, sure. Many times. I mean, you know, to like match the hairdos he gets, she said very interested. You mean does he them like elegantly tapered glamour length with two coats of red nail polish? The girl giggled. Yeah. Have you ever done that? That's how he likes them done honey, she said patting her hand and grinning again. He gets his toes done the same way too. He must be really embarrassed having his nails done like that in public. I know I would be and I'm a girl, she giggled again at the thought. Actually I think I am more embarrassed doing his nails than he is having them done and wearing them around. I have to act like he is just another female customer having her nails done even though everybody is watching when he is in here. You have to? she inquired. Blanche, the lady who owns the shop insists we treat Sally with the same courtesy and respect like we would any other customer. So you treat this guy like a woman customer? Oh no honey, we treat him like a male customer who has a preferred hair design in mind that other people may consider feminine. Oh, and he prefers to be called Sally by the way, she said in a sarcastic manner. And oh way, the girl exclaimed looking back at the man getting shampooed. How are you today Sally, Marge said as he walked by her chair with a towel wrapped around his head allowing his wrist to hang limp on the arm he was being escorted by. I'm fine Marge thank you, said in a soft but dainty manner. Jan had Sally sit down in the styling chair. Sally crossed his clean-shaven legs allowing one foot to tangle. He stretched his toes and have them a cute little wiggle. 
He folded his hands in his lap and it was then clear that his nails were done exactly as the nail tech Doris had described. Long and red. He then relaxed and lifted his chin while Jan out the cape around his neck. Jan combed out his hair then pulled up a tray of large two-inch brush rollers. Sally just stared straight ahead with a Mona Lisa smile as Jan lifted strand after strand of his hair and rolled it down to his head on a two-inch brush curler and pinning it in place. Jan was very meticulous in her work creating straight rows of curlers and pink pins. Sally's head was tilted slightly as Jan rolled the side. Sally made eye contact with one of the other ladies having her hair done and gave her a shy but knowing smile. Though being in such a public setting and being observed by almost everyone, Sally didn't seem at all nervous. Sally now had his head pushed forward so the back could be rolled. His head now almost filled with the two-inch curlers. He gently swung his leg back and forth while Jan worked, just to relieve what little tension he was feeling. Finally, he was done. His hair was set in the large brush rollers. His dark hair was wet and tightly wrapped around the curlers. Jan now sprayed the curlers with a generous amount of hairspray. She patted the curlers and then turned him to face the mirror. Well, what do you think? Jan said from behind the chair looking at him in the reflection of the mirror. Oh, it looks very nice Jan, he said now taking his own hand and lightly bumped the curlers with his palms. I love it, he said softly. Let's give it a couple of more minutes and I'll spray it again, Jan said turning the chair back around now. Oh that would be lovely, Sally said smiling. Thank you so much. Jan pushed his head forward again and shaved the back of his neck. She then straightened his head up and once again sprayed his hair with a generous amount of hairspray. She protected his face with her hand as she moved the can around. She once more turned the chair to face the mirror. How's that? She asked this time lightly touching his hair with both palms at once. Sally turned his head as he looked in the mirror admiring his hair set, it's perfect, he said. Jan removed the cape and Sally stood up. He once again touched his set with his fingertips before following Jan to the front of the salon. Is he leaving like that? Mrs. Myers asked the stylist who was finishing putting the perm lotion in her hair. It sure looks like it, the stylist said smiling as he was paying. He still has curlers in his hair. I see that. As Jan was walking back by she was asked many questions by the women in the shop. Marge called her over. Curlers in his hair? That's different. What's up? Marge asked quietly. He said he had some shopping to do today and wanted his hair set and the curlers. I mean he brought his own curlers so I did it for him. Jan said as she cleaned up her station. I thought it looked okay. Was it too much? Oh not at all. Marge said dismissively, I'm sure Sally is very happy with his look today. Excuse me, one of the women said to Jan as she had just finished up getting her hair cut. That young man that was in here, has he ever worn a dress or women's clothes in here? I mean he is already making a very bold feminine image. I was just curious. Jan looked at her and smiled. I have been here seven years, and yes, he has worn a dress here on several occasions that I can recall. Usually just a light sun dress or something comfortable like that, he did tell me was wearing a beautiful dress tonight he had picked out for an evening gathering, but he didn't elaborate. The woman looked shocked. It's no big deal really, I mean he just left here wearing curlers in his hair and his nails all polished red. Well, I guess not. So ends another day at the salon, but the gossip is just beginning.